Right, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for an interesting one. This course is known as the mine shaft, which is basically all about that bunker there that we'll look at later on in the video. That's also Peter Finch that you've seen filming as we were out for a few days in Scottsdale. So Peter Finch features in the video, although we do not play around against one another. This is something that we organise very much last minute as we're about to board a plane very, very soon and uh, managed to squeeze in a quick nine holes. What I will say is Peter features throughout, mainly hit and driver, that's him off the first, and he's absolutely ripped it. We're paying 7,100 yards off the tee boxes, that's thanks to Pete, and that's moved one forward from the back as well. So I was a little bit daunted by this first tee shot. I've got Pete with me and another pro, so the pressure was on. And I've got to say, absolutely ripped it. You can go left or right of those bunkers you can see in the distance. And I went to the right of them and uh, yeah, found the middle of the fairway. So now we're into a hybrid. Uh, took that one a little bit down the left, not overly happy with it. But as you can see, we've got a nice little angle in. There's a par five to start, by the way. Um, and we're down to a little nine iron which you can see the ball flight, it's always difficult to judge distances out here because, and, and understand the clubs that you're playing. And that one leaked just a little bit off to the right hand side, which means that we've got to, uh, well, we've got to make up and down obviously for par. Um, so I'm playing a 54 wedge, pop it up. And what you're gonna learn very, very soon is just how quick these greens are. They are like lightning, they run at 11 on the stimp. We've got this for par, which would have been a decent start. The caddy told me it was uh, right edge and I didn't believe him and I should have listened. So it's a bogey start. Right, on to the next hole. It's a gorgeous golf course, proper desert course. Um, and again, out with driver. This one just leaked out to the right hand side. Um, was nowhere near as good as the first drive. Obviously watched it down. But it's okay, it's just off the fairway and being just off the fairway just means you're in a sort of burnt grass rather than um, the for firmer, shorter stuff. But fine off there, only had a gap wedge in and this is going right at the flag and I'm thinking things are good. Only to see that we, uh, we literally pitch where we landed. This stuff is very, very soft indeed. And um, well, like I said, where I was thinking we were landing, was um, right on the flag, to be quite honest with you. Now, I have took the read this time off the caddy. He's told me it's a few inches right of the hole, and uh, you can see that break. Decent pace and decent roll. And uh, I think the caddy kicks at me back, does he? Yes, he does. So, a nice four. Right, next hole. Um, it's a par three that we can't see the green, or the flag, rather. Yeah, what I can tell you is it's 204 yards. The green is, as we're identifying, tucked away to the left. And I sort of gone the easier route, which is the part of the green that I can see towards the right. Um, and fed one in off the right hand side. It's actually gone through the green and decent look at a birdie because 204. I just don't think it plays quite as long over in the States as it does in the UK. Um, and to be honest with you, decent roll on the putter. But you know straight away on these greens, they're so true, it started to fall away a little. And uh, we're a decent par, so more than happy with that. Right, next old driver out. This is a, a dog leg. Uh, the first drive is straight off the tee, but then it makes its way off to the right-hand side, which you'll see shortly. Absolutely hammered this drive. Um, it did not move, to be honest with you. It stayed uh, pretty much bullet straight and uh, good position in the fairway. And you can see it's to a uh, green elevated green I've got a bit of downwind but I'm still playing six iron in this is uh, I've got a really good ball flight and a really good line I'm avoiding the bunkers on the left that's the shot I was making sure I didn't play and uh, pitched it on sort of the back bank and this one cambered round and left a good look at a birdie chance probably the best iron shot that I hit all day um, so again it's really important to get the read off of the um, caddies and you can see that break. And yeah, not only the break in the putt, the break in my heart when it didn't go in, because I really thought I had, uh, I had a birdie there. So happy again, good two putt, good par four. 
Here's another quick look at Pete. His driving was absolutely fantastic. I've got to say that. Um, you're only going to see snippets of Pete ones. I uh, sort of decided to record of him and me. And what you'll see is he's bombing this driver. He's a lot longer off the tee than I remember him being. Anyway, what can I do? Well, pretty decent to be fair. It's a long way back from where Pete lands, but um, it's found the fairway again. It's a quick pick up of the tee and away we go. Now this one is blind and I've picked the line, didn't wait for the ball, uh, didn't wait for the caddy. And at that point when I've struck the ball, I've got to admit, and I'm hitting three wood here by the way on a par four, second shot. It tells you how long this course plays. Talking to the caddy across the fairway and he's now telling me I'm a bit too far left, which is a bit of a disappointment. What I've also got to say at this point is if I can just stop that there a second, is that uh, I had to take a drop out of the bush, which is to the left here. So this is a, a drop, um, probably not in the correct place either, but there you go, who's counting? Um, oh, where's the rules ref at least? Played a 58 degree wedge, threw it up onto the middle of the green. And um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a great shot. I'm really disappointed after such a good tee shot, but I suppose it's, you, know, you need to understand where you're going. Uh, but once again, you know, Putted really, really well, and that's something that uh, continues throughout the uh, the day. To be honest with you, although pace is so difficult, this one rolls by, and all of a sudden you're six foot back, and uh, a good, confident roll. I would say, really pleased with that. Uh, yeah, we're sharing putters at this stage because, um, well, we didn't really have a set of clubs to go out and play with at this point. It was like I said, we were packed up and ready to go back to the airport. As Pete just holding out. Um, whatever I made, double bogey. Um, but anyway, here we go. Next tee shot, driver in hand, which tends to be the theme of the day. These, uh, yeah, this is this is long again. Uh, this is a par five, and again, quick. Get down to the pick the tee up and walk on. Really pleased. Middle of the fairway. Now this again is just understanding the line of the of the par five. Hit a really good um, three wood here. Uh, maybe leaked that a tad, but only a tad. And unfortunately, when I look back again to the caddy, he's telling me I'm perhaps a little bit further right than I need to be. And then, yeah, this gets really interesting. My ball, I'm gonna just pause this a second. My ball is resting underneath a, um, a broken off little branch. And uh, well, I take a few practice swings and just trying to get a position over the ball. And then this happens. And if you look closely, I um, will zoom that one in. On my backswing, about to take the strike, the ball has moved and I removed the twig. So yeah, uh, a bit disappointed, but there you go. Um, <laughs> we eventually sort of chopped one out. I'm talking to Pete in the background who's uh, finding that very amusing. Anyway, we've got, um, we've got just over 120 in. It's sort of a, I've played a really controlled wedge right at the flag. And uh, unfortunately, I landed right into the uh, top of the bunker, which I'm just walking away from now. Uh, and it rolled back. You can see that line rolling back into the position it is. So I've got a bit of a backstop here. So it's you can be fairly aggressive with the wedge shot. And I know that it's gonna kill the ball effectively. However, having said that, when I get up there, what I realize is the position I've come to it's like an absolute ski slope. Yeah, there's a suggestion that playing it as a uh, snooker shot would be a better idea because seriously, this is so, so quick. And what you'll see is when I eventually nudge it down here and we're talking to the caddy, I said, this has got to go in, otherwise we, uh, we're going past the hole. Does it go in? Oh, I still feel the pain now watching it back because it's over the lip and that was something that happened on quite a few occasions. Pete's obviously had a few to drink there with that camera work, but we're back in situ. Left another nasty little four-footer. But again, good confidence, strike, happy with that. So gonna take a look at this mine shaft, which is, um, yeah, it's a fame, it's what the course is named after. And uh, there's a special feature coming on Peach Channel where we both attempt to play from that. So make sure you check that out. Uh, yeah, really interesting. Not many people get out of that bunker is all I can say and the caddy confirmed that. Uh, back to the game, uh, we followed up, we had a lot of fun in that bunk, spent, spent a lot of time in it, filming it, and then we rocks up to what is a sort of 170 yard par three, 
Yeah, pretty disgusted with it, really. It wasn't the best of strikes. Um, but then when I got down there, it wasn't quite as bad as I first thought. But this was annoying. Again, apologies for the camera position, but I'm, I'm working on my own here, so it's a case of uh, you can't see a great look at that. But you're expecting it. Everything is so fast that you're so scared of racing everything away. So it's, um, yeah, delicate with the chip and then not so delicate with the putt and you just feel like you cannot win. Um, so left, yeah, this went past the hole. This is a good eight foot with break. And that's a tentative one. And you see it straight away and all of a sudden you've worked off with a double bogey. And uh, yeah, should have been a bogey at worst. Right, um, on to what is the, the, the interesting enough, this is the back nine um, of the mineshaft course. Uh, so this is hole 17. Some amazing backdrops. The course is in incredible condition. Um, I've kept this one in. This is another driver, Pete, which, um, like I said, well, you have a look. It's an absolute bomb. I mean, I don't know how many balls he hit over 300 yards, but there was certainly a lot of them. And it's very difficult when you're paired with those kind of people and then you've got to step up and keep, effectively keep your own game uh, as you normally play so swing speed and tempo down don't try and keep hitting the ball don't try and keep up with players of that ability um, and I've got to say really pleased another really good drive and this one had just leaked into a fairway bunker which was a bit disappointing but it was a really difficult position that I found myself in um, and we're cutting across an angle just caught the upslope of the bunker didn't quite I was maybe a bit greedy with the loft of club I used um, and then, to be honest with you, it just goes from bad to worse. Played a pretty poor pitch. Um, the ground here is very much different. Certainly that sandy area, the, uh, once you go into the rough, is a little bit softer than being on the green stuff. And much more comfortable there with a sort of uh, a chip and run with an eight iron is uh, certainly much more my bag. So, again... Um, as you can see, Pete raises his hand there thinking we've finally got one to drop because um, I put it well without actually holding anything, which was so disappointing. On to 18, we might as well have a final look at, uh, at a tee shot from Pete. Um, this is a dog leg right to left. He's taken on a line over the bunkers, uh, slightly left of shot. And that is, that is effectively the tiger line. He's bending down, picking up the tee, walking away, and yeah, he's hit another bomb. So yeah, and steady your own pace and make sure you swing within your capabilities, which I did. Um, and again, so pleased to complete nine holes with some decent ball striking there, if not great scoring. Uh, I had, I think I left sort of 145 in, nine iron, flag is right over the bunker. I played a safer shot if you like which was taking the bunker out of play hoping that I could move the ball from right to left and I, and I didn't but if I didn't I left myself in a good position and safe um, so at this point you know I think it was a good play however I struck the ball that well if I'd have gone up the flag I'd have been pretty close but there you go and then again you're unsure of that sort of fringe area as to how fast the ball is going to travel across it gave it a tad too much and uh, unfortunately left a, um, well this is slippery down the slope and also a lot further than you'd want to be for par. So yet again, it's that mentality thing is the problem, just eased off a little and unfortunately that's a bogey to finish but it was a uh, really enjoyable nine holes at Scottsdale National on what like I said is known as the mineshaft course Make sure you um, take a look or keep an eye out at least on Pete's channel. He's filmed a couple of videos from there. Uh, one in which we take on nine holes on another course. One in which features the uh, this mine um, shaft hole bunker at least anyway. And uh, yeah, some really interesting stuff. So I thought I'd throw that one in there just for you A, to have a look at sort of what my game was doing. A little bit of a sneak peek at what Pete's game is looking like. And also to have a look at Scottsdale National mine shaft course hope you enjoyed that one a little bit different but uh i thought as i had the opportunity i'd do my best to throw something together thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are and i'll see you all tomorrow night